Hi friends, so welcome back to I Love Lunches. If you're new, welcome. Please consider subscribing to my channel. That would be super awesome to have you. And if you're returning, welcome back to the party, to the lunch party. <laughs> and all you have to do to subscribe is just hit the subscribe button and you'll be subscribed. But there's one more thing you have to do is to hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you won't miss out on none of the fun here at I Love Lunches on this channel I show you guys what I pack for my kiddos I do shop with me I do all things mom all things lunches so if you're interesting and I know you are just stick around and if you enjoyed the video please give me a big thumbs up share with your friends let them know let them get on board to this amazing lunch movement that we're all having it's so awesome to have you guys now let's get lunch in okay guys let's get started with some pretzel buns these are so good i got these from i believe whole foods these are really good they're really soft and they also come with a little packet of salt just in case you want to add some salt but we can just leave the salt behind for now and i also got some turkey when i was there and some provolone cheese I'm going to make the kids a simple sandwich. They don't like anything on it. They're not used to having too many sandwiches. They love peanut butter and jelly. But I'm going to try something different today. And I also got this paper from, I believe, the 99 cent store. I used it in one of my other lunch videos. So please make sure and check out the rest of my lunch videos because you'll get tons of great ideas. So all you do is cut that. And I'm also going to add some of my personal favorite, some peas. The kids do not like peas, but we're going to keep giving it to them till they do. And I also picked up some dates. Like, the kids never have dates, but I want them to try new and different things. And I also picked up this gold kiwi. And I think it looks really malicious. It's not your usual green. It's yellow. And on the packet, it said to open it up with a spoon, to depeel it with a spoon. And on one of my other videos, someone suggested I do it this way. So it worked out beautifully. And I'm going to give the kids some black grapes. I have tons of black grapes right now. And if I don't cut them, I notice that Noah will not eat them because he thinks that they're olives. So I'm definitely going to cut them. He's at the age that he can just eat it now because he's so used to eating them all the time. But I prefer to cut him because these are a little bit larger and like that also, he won't think that they're black olives. So I just added our dates, our sandwich, and on this compartment, I'm just gonna add some peanut butter pretzels. And I got this from Whole Foods as well and also a yogurt drink and some chips. I do not give the kids chips, but I'm going to give them some now because it goes perfect with the sandwich. And I also got a apple cookie from Home Goods. I'm gonna give Noah some milk and Halo some juice. Noah cannot have sweets because his teacher does not allow sweets for lunch. He has to earn it. And for a Halo snack, she suggested some raspberries. I added some grapes. And for something a little bit sweet for Halo, I'm gonna add some cereal and see if she likes that. So this is my Sistema container. It's really awesome. They're very affordable. You can find them just around anywhere. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part about this lunch. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you the kids lunches. I'm gonna try to do it very quickly. Definitely that. So Noah 
like he was so proud of his lunch, and I don't think the school let him get the chips or the milk. So I believe they just gave him this, because he also had breakfast that I took with him. So I think it was just kind of too much, and you know, the chips are nothing good. And Noah did so amazingly. Like, I'm so proud of my little guy. But, once again, he didn't eat these either, of course. But I'm going to continue to give it to them until they eat them, because I need them to like it. <laughs> so that's our lunch for today, guys. So I guess I'll see you guys on Wednesday. And don't forget, Halo does have a special lunch as well. And her lunches are Tuesday and Thursday. And those are her special two lunches. And we're going to go with Halloween thing for Halo, because she's so excited about Halloween. And she cannot wait, and she asked me to make her a Halloween lunch. So I'm going to give it my best try and try to see if that will make her eat a lunch. So I'll see you guys on Wednesday, guys. Hey guys, today's gonna be a very simple lunch idea because today is picture day and I make these lunches early in the morning before I wake the kids up. So Noah's my little helper, he was up. So I'm just going with some pumpkin Cheerios. They both really like that cereal, especially around this time and some green apples, some eggs. They both love eggs. So I just put them inside of my mouths with a flower and a heart. Or no, it was a star. And these are my blue pigs, guys. I know, it's an obsession. <laughs> but I absolutely love them all. So we're gonna go with some turkey. I have turkey leftover from Monday. So I figure why not use it? So let's use what we have, right? So we're just gonna go with some baby bell cheese and I'm sticking a turkey, a piece of turkey. And also these are yellow and kind of brown tomatoes and they go perfect with the fall season. So that's what we're kind of going with there. And I'm gonna give the kiddos some bananas because it goes perfect with cereal and some raisins and my little tiny helper is helping me and of course some milk and halo snack she's gonna have some yogurt and also some little chips yes, you, you ate your egg you ate your egg so you ate your meat yeah. and your cheese yeah. and your tomato yeah. and you ate your apples yeah. and you ate some raisins yeah. I, I'm so proud of you you did really good for me and halo now let's see halo's lunch that's an easy lunch today because we were trying to get ourselves together for a picture day. So here's the bag, and I believe she had a cupcake, a baking cupcake. I packed her spoons there. I can tell she ate her yogurt because I didn't put on her spoon still. And she didn't eat her banana, which she said, okay, I'm probably gonna make some banana bread. Or the banana in a day or two. Okay, let's see what Halo had. Halo had nothing. She ate. Well, no, she ate her egg. She ate a couple of, she ate one. And a bite of her um, apples, and she ate her cheese off of one. Oh no! Mommy, it hasn't eaten. No, she didn't eat this, but she did eat her yogurt and her others. She had this for snack. And she did eat some of your backpack, Halo. Okay, this. Why? Why you didn't eat your um? What else did you eat? You ate some of this. Why you didn't put your milk in it? You didn't want to? Yeah, there's no milk. I put the milk in here. No, 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 the milk was in here. Welcome to Friday guys. We're gonna go really simple today. The kids suggested some pasta and of course I say yeah <laughs> So we're just gonna boil our water and I just added salt to our water and I did preheat our thermoses so all I did was just get some of the boiling water before I added the pasta and just started to preheat my thermoses and it really helps to keep your kiddos food nice and warm till lunchtime. So I really recommend it. All you do is leave it for 15 or 20 minutes and it's gonna preheat the inside of the thermos. And we're gonna go with some cucumbers, but these cucumbers, I'm gonna cut them into strips so it can be easy for dipping for the kiddos because I'm gonna give the kids something that they have never tried before. And it's hummus. And I'm using my yum box. I really do love these boxes. And I'm gonna go with some colorful carrots. I'm trying to use what I have, guys. And some of them are a little bit too big, so I'm just slicing them up. But the really tiny one, I'm just leaving them whole for the kiddos. 
and some edamame. Heimo's been liking Playlu to peel her own edamame, but I'm gonna do them for them just so we can save a little bit of room in the lunch boxes. And we're gonna add our hummus right in the middle. I have no idea how the kids are gonna do, but I'm hoping that they're gonna do great with the hummus. I'm going to start giving them hummus more often, but we'll see how that goes. And these are some little cookies, and these are dates, I believe, or fizz, or something like that. If you know the name of it, comment down below and let me know what it's called. And of course, my personal favorite, mango, and this mango was so perfect, it was so sweet. So I'm just gonna put little lines in my mango and flip them to create this beautiful flower. And we're gonna go with some black grapes and I'm just slicing them up. So no, I won't think they're olives. But when we were on vacation, he really did enjoy the black grapes. But now he likes it some days and some days he don't. So I'm just adding it right to the size of the mango. Doesn't that look so beautiful, guys? And for Halo snack for today, we're just gonna go with some peanuts. And I'm using my snack table that I got from Walmart and it was just like four bucks so it's very reasonable and some juice and some applesauce. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Right after you subscribe, please make sure and hit the little bell so you would not miss any of the fun. And thank you again. Watch one of these videos. Let's keep the party going.